What's up, guys? Uh, another fight prediction time. Here we go. I'm Dave Van Auken. That's Aaron the Dog. Aaron, how you doing, my man? I'm good, man. Uh, just uh, been uh, doing a lot of tape study for uh, Thursday night. Um, be live with Brian Battle, uh, future UFC competitor Brian Battle, I think, coming off a really impressive fight over in Hard Rock MMA. But, yeah, excited to break down. Uh, I've really been happy to say I've been looking forward to the main events lately because I'm not always the biggest main event guy. I right. sometimes will find the fights I'm most excited for early in the card, but I will make no secret. These are two of my favorite. I mean, heavyweight division live and well. That's why I've had the main events with heavyweights lately. And not just sluggish heavyweights. We've got really exciting heavyweights here. And I'll have some praise for uh, both fighters, but one particularly. In this right. Program. I love it. This is, like you said, a great fight. Um, I'm So we did a couple fight predictions last time and a couple weeks in a row. And for some reason, we just didn't get around to Blades and Lewis. And you know how I went pretty high on Derek Lewis right before. So I'm like, OK, we got to start with the main event. We got to put this on tape so we have record of it. Um, hey, I was kind of pumped. I, you know, it happens in the business when, like you said, I loved your take after I saw it on the recap show. You're like, after the first minute or two, you're so like, oh, Derek Lewis is going to knock out Blades. It's just a matter of time. You know, I had Derek Lewis pre-fight, um, you know, so here we go. We're for the next main event. Yeah. Another vital heavyweight matchup, a little bit different. Lewis and Blades to me are like a year or a year and a uh, half in front of Rosenstruck and gone. So, but this is pretty vital. Winner really moves up into that top five, a uh, big matchup in the future. There's nothing but Volkovs and Lewis's and Jones and Nagano's to uh, come ahead of them. So here we go. We got Rosenstruck versus gone. Um, what, what's the uh, line right now looking like? Uh, so the line as I have it, um, I have uh, gone as a pretty sizable favorite approach in minus 300, minus 285. <sighs> Wow, minus 285. Like you said, I bet you he probably goes off at uh, minus 300, maybe even above um, Rosenstroke. We'll, we'll, see. we'll see. We'll see. I have some interest. I I, I think the line's going to stay a little closer because of the result last week. I think we're Right. Seeing... You think people are going to have – hey, it happened last week, the big slugger, the big underdog, knockout artist, and you think they're going to put money on it this week. I yeah. might be one of those guys too, but let's see. Let's uh, dive right into it. I'm going to put this up right here so people can see. Yeah, it's uh, minus minus two seventy five actually. As of okay. now, it opened at minus it opened at minus two ninety nine, minus three hundred. So the money has early come in for Rosenstruck slightly. Um, I think as the week goes on, a little more money is going to come in on Rosenstruck here. Um, yeah. And so I'm waiting to bet uh, Cyril um, because that is where I'm leaning to open up here and I'll kind of explain why. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think you're kind of on Rosenstruck. So I am, I am. Um, so we're kind of jumping right into it. So let's kind yeah. of roll with it. I like Rosenstruck a lot. I just think he's been in this main event spot before. Uh, you know, I think he's fought high level guys, big guys, big names. And I just like that he's been there before. It's just one of those things. This weekend isn't the biggest weekend maybe of his career. I think maybe in a way, a uh, fight against a Hall of Famer like JDS, uh, fighting a Hall of Famer Overeem with in front of 17,000 fans in a different market. I think he's been in some big platforms before. We're going to we're gonna just walk uh, around that Frankie Nagano fight, aren't we? As uh, we're I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah. Intra and I love the selective uh, memory. You know, uh, that is beautiful. That was dude, some when, you, when you're in a debate, when you're answer. going against, you know, you don't, you, don't, you don't go the lows. You don't, I don't want to hear about, uh, you know, how he got there. No, but. let's just hear about the fifth round knockout after losing 24 minutes to Overeem, where it wasn't even a knockout. But let's talk right, about that. A win's a win. A, a mixed martial arts in the UFC. Yeah. Um, we we kind of, we, we joke about that off air sometimes. Dude, uh, it's hard to win in the UFC and it's hard mm -hmm. to win against main event type of guys. And I think I think Rosenstruck has won four out of his last five. The only loss yeah. is to Francis, which you know he is right now a four favorite against Stipe Miocic, and we'll get into that fight in uh, a month from now. So, but right now it's gone. It's Rosenstruck. I just think Rosenstruck has been here before. I like that. Um, I'm not. I don't feel great about it. I don't feel how I did against Derek Lewis or others. But if you're telling me to lean one way or another, I'm leaning Rosenstrike. And then, of course, if you're going to give me plus 225, 230, mm -hmm. 240s, I'm going to match them up with a couple parlays with a couple guys I feel good about. Maybe get up to plus 800, plus a thousand money. That's where I'm leaning right now. Uh, you know, I think you're more one way, and I'm going to let you really run with it. I'm leaning Rosenstrike. 
no, no. And I, I really, I really do get it. Um, Cyril gone only 30 years old, Rosen strike 32. So these guys literally are a couple of years behind what we just saw last week. You right. Know, we were 34, 35, 36 with, you know, Derek Lewis, um, with gone, uh, there's just I don't think that there's really anybody you can compare Rosenstrike's fought with other than Overeem. And this the fight with Rosenstrike and Overeem was the fight that caused Overeem to become the grappler, realize he can't just stand and bang because it can end at any point. And just real quick, I wanted to compare elephants to hippos here in Rosenstruck and Lewis. Okay. What Lewis did in his fifth round knockout, that was a knockout. He knocked his head back and finished him on the ground with additional strikes. What Rosenstruck did also counts as a technical knockout. I get that. Uh, But what Rosenstruck did, he was losing a significant amount of that fight on the feet. Um, Overeem wasn't even testing his overall MMA game. We haven't seen anybody test Rosenstruck's overall MMA game. So, yes, he has been in these situations, but they've essentially been glorified kickboxing bouts. For one, I think Gan can win that. Uh, as long as he avoids the left hand of death, uh, which, right. is, you know, and I think that left, left hand really only is the first uh, two, two and a half rounds for Rosenstrike. I know he has the fifth round knockout of Overeem. Again, that was more of a balance. We, I, I think that there was some power in it, but it was a slow shot, which I do believe that Gan does not have the same uh, gas issues as Overeem may have at that stage in his career. I think, um, I, I won't make it too much of a secret here. I think Gon is the real deal. I think he has potential to be heavyweight GSP. And wow. uh, Yeah. I mean, like, I really uh, think him, Aspinall, these new heavyweights, they can do it all. He's had, he's had submissions in the UFC and good submissions, not just like a ho-hum arm triangle or something. He's had a heel hook. Uh, I mean, he's legitimate. I think he's dangerous everywhere. Um, the one thing he doesn't that he has under uh, Rosenstruck is pure power, uh, but volume, uh, diversity of strikes, and ability to take this fight uh, more than just on the feet. That's my difference with Cyril Gan. He can win this fight, I think, at any point. I and I think that uh, he can win this in multiple ways. This is his biggest fight of his career for sure, though. Right, uh, no doubt about it. You like you look at who Cyril has fought. You can pull it up. I mean, it's, you know, Junior Dos Santos, which that fight he was doing okay in and, you know, like um, definitely had an impressive knockout, though, for me. Uh, I love seeing him utilizing the elbows there um, because he's going to have to have more diverse strikes. His pure punching power, not enough to get a lot of these guys out of there necessarily. But besides that, I mean, Tanner Bozer looked really good against him. Again, Tanner Bozer – has you know lost our last key recently, so that stock goes down a little bit, but still Tanner has been there with a lot of good guys. Dante Mays is really the fight to me that I think uh showed me quite a bit um in his debut though, because he was able to take that power away, able to deal with the range really well. I don't compare Rosen I know Rosenstrike will be the best striker he's faced though ever. So Yeah, that I that I I was real I was about to hammer this home. I think you know, yeah, I know Junior Dos Santos, but I think you and I can agree this isn't Junior Dos Santos of 2013. Mm-hmm. I just think he, you know, I, yeah, I think Gon can win in multiple different ways. I think Gon is probably a better mixed martial artist. But yeah. I think in this one fight right here in a main event spot in the biggest fight of Gon's career, uh, especially with a little bit of the momentum of the Derek Lewis knockout, and I think Rosenstrike knows what he has to do. And it's one of those things. Rosenstrike was in that top four, top three, top five. And now with Lewis moving up and Volkov moving up, I think Rosenstrike knows this is huge. Like if he loses to Gon, it could be a three-year, two-year process of getting back in there. I, I know Gon, I think he is the real deal too, but I just think he might be in two years. They do this fight over. I have gone all day long. I think right now in 2021, main event at the apex, I'm going with Rosenstrike. I do. I think he gets them. I, you ready for this one? I think he gets them early. I think it's a first round, maybe second, but I think I'm going to go with my chips. I like the under whatever it is, and I'm going to go with the first round TKO with Rosenstrike. First two rounds is when it's uh, the loss is happening, if it's happening for Gon, in my opinion. Um, right. I think that's totally fair. I think that uh, Gon uses a diverse game, and I'm actually going a little off the beaten path as well. I'm going Gon by submission round three. 
Okay. So, uh, I, I'm looking for an Aspinall, you know, kind of approach in the first couple rounds. Uh, really, you know, maybe going for that early finish himself. But Rosenstruck's t- tough. The only guy he was put away with it was was Ngannou, and I'm that's a guy who Cyril does train with. Has the same coach. Uh, there's been a long pride preparation with Gan, uh, mimicking and observing Rosenstruck leading up to this fight as well to be considered uh, 30 years old entering his prime. Uh, I just I'm going with the better MMA guy. This is a, always the risky spot to do it in. It's the heavyweights, right? And especially when uh, one side can end it with his fists at any point, while the other side can end it with his knees elbows or uh if he takes it to the ground if he gets a takedown i'm uh we're we're in heaven uh we <laughs> haven't seen anybody take down rosenstruck right so there might most be of the time if you and i are on the same i love it when you and i are, are different it's like i kind of look back at it and i don't feel really confident about it and usually on these shows you're supposed to go all in and be on a mountain on it i'm not i am yeah. leading rosenstruck I see, like what you just said, I see a third round submission happening if it goes that way. And if it's more of a grappling match and he kind of goes into long, uh, deep waters, I can see that. But hey, we got to live on a uh, on a branch sooner or later. I got Rosenstrike first round TKO. You have gone third round submission? Yes, sir. There we go. That's the fight prediction. UFC Vegas 20 Saturday night. We're only a couple of days away. My man Aaron the dog, let's do this again real soon.